Hi guys, <laughs> it's me in Jack Small, <laughs> and welcome back to my Taglish channel. Hi guys, how is it everyone on every side of the universe? Um, today we are going to do an unboxing. Uh, we have the uh, Adventurage 75 litre dual zone uh, fridge freezer. I think that's the sounds about right. Um, I only bought it yesterday from Audi, uh, had it on special. Um, as you've seen from one of our other unboxing videos, I do currently have a, I think it's a 45 litre fridge in the car as it is. Uh, but we are going to upgrade and get something slightly larger just for more storage capacity. So I'll uh, unbox, talk through what's inside the box and also what, I guess, the, the features, accessories, stuff like that there. So happy watching. Yeah. So guys, let's get to the unboxing. As you can see, we haven't actually peeked or anything yet. It's still as we got it. We've even broken the handles on the side trying to lift it out of the car. Apparently, I think it says here, or maybe it's just for warning signs of the front there. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Could it say anywhere? It's up to 16 to 40 kilograms, but I think it's about 30 something. Ugh, I should use, I've got my little, my hook one here. Uh, so a bit of backstory. Uh, we lined up yesterday if, at Audi to actually get this because it's a sale item and I think it was only maybe at six in stock when we arrived. Lucky most of the people uh, were after lithium batteries so I think this was the fourth one out of a group of six uh, and we went there today so the day after I bought this um, and they're all gone so they're uh, quite popular. So we're nearly in. So, I mean, you can kind of see the features. Uh, it's fridge freezer, but it's actually two two zones, and you can have both as uh, coolers, both as freezers, or one or the other. Um, so, we might do maybe two fridges at the moment, and then if when we start traveling, we might do double freezer or, or both, really, just so we have drinks of a car. So, um, yeah, works independently. Apparently, it comes with both the 240 volt and the 12 volt power cords. It's covered in steel, or made of steel, or the outside anyway. It's got good insulation um, in both the lid and the walls, which I think might actually be thicker than what I have currently. Um, same type of compressor, and yeah, same sort of aluminium line to the inside. Um, it's got the digital control panel, and it may have Bluetooth, so you can control um, the temperatures up and down and monitor them remotely, but we'll see. I don't think it advertises it, but it looks similar to other like competitor models, which uh, look very similar. Okay, so we have the foam. We have some foam. It's been a long while since we've been able to unload a box. Now that Roberto stopped buying stuff. Okay. So, uh, it's a bit harder to get into because it's got foam on the inside. I think I fill the fees up first. All right, that sounds about right. Otherwise, I can't get my hands in there to lift up the grab handles. Okay, we have to grab all these four cardboards. Like it's bin day tomorrow or the next day because more packaging. So I think I might be able to get my hands down there now. Or I can actually not, we'll grab the foam. There's a couple of foam sheets on either side as well. Now I've actually measured this up in the back of my car. Apparently it should fit on the existing fridge slide. Um, Surprisingly, it's not that much larger than the 45 litre in terms of dimensions. Um, granted, I don't think the compressor is any larger. Um, I think it's yeah, just maybe slightly deeper and a bit taller. But the width isn't that much different at all. Okay, so we'll take the plastic off. I think that might just be the like warranty type thing. Yeah, it's really just giving a where to contact if you have any issues with it. So now I might be able to actually get my hands under it. And I don't know if the handles actually want to go vertically. I think it's more of things like that. I'll grab a bite here anyway. Like you go to the gym. 
because I'm picking it up right now with my fingertips. Ugh. So I think in terms of a box, I don't think there's anything left in my box, as you can see from there. I think everything must be inside. So, Malaga and Pascal guys, let's check what's inside. Okay, so unlike the other one we have, um, that's kind of got those plastic sort of clips. This one here has got like metal ones, so lock, unlock. So this is the small one. So this is the first zone. So it actually does go all the way to the bottom. It's the, like a grab basket as well. So if you need to get anything, you can pull it out. So that's the one. And yeah, good seals on top here. And that's what sits on top. I'm not sure if it's magnetized. But yeah, it's very nice and soft to sit there. And then obviously that will grab as well. Um, you can see here, a bit of a, for grab handles, so if you're lifting it up, you pretty much just grab from the sides. So here's the second zone. So there's our connections here. So it looks like I have a fuse there. Um, I'll unload. So it'll give me an idea what kind of end it has on it. So we've got, yeah, a, a, that bears instruction manual. Warranty card, a fuse there. Um, I might check to see if it actually has the specs here. 19. There you go. So it weighs 30 kilograms, 75 liters. That's the dimensions there on the screen. Um, if you're, oh, so that's in 240 volts, it looks like the amps. It does have a USB outlet on there. Um, let see, refrigerant, yeah, it doesn't say, currently do the maths in my head of a current. Oh, I think it's about 4.5 4 amps if you draw it from 12 volts. Oh, it has there, so it's underneath. So if it's actually running, it will draw 4.5 amps uh, on 12 volts. If you're on like 240 volts, say so 0.4 of an amp or 2.2 if you're running on 24 volts. So I'll have a look at the, through the menu after I finish recording and then I'll let you know if there's any other sort of um, surprises. So we have our standard like 240 volt which you, that looks like a like a kettle type of cord. So I mean if you ever have to replace it that's a very common cord if you plug it into the wall. Um, this one here I think actually looks very similar to the one I'm currently got in the car now. So the good news is I won't have to run this cable again. I should be able to just plug the fridge back to, into the exact same uh, cord I've got in the fridge right now. Oh sorry in the car right now. So, um, yeah, so we've got the warranty card, we've got a couple of these little gel packets. Uh, on both sides, there's the drainage plugs. So if there's ever any water, if you want to clean it out, you can actually just take that plug out, rather than have to tip it upside down, you can actually just let it drain through that plug hole. This other smaller side, it's got another short basket, and it's got a taller one. So I'd say in regards to maybe the size of a fridge, I reckon our current one is maybe just, say, this side. And then this side is probably extra, but I'm reckon the depth might be the same. I'm not sure if it's a bit wider, but yeah. So we do have this extra compartment here, which um, if you, I know when we have like frozen stuff out there, we'll definitely get good there. So I'll lock these up, and I'll through the power of editing, I'll plug this in and see what happens on the display. So guys, I'll be back in a second. So guys, I've got the cord plugged in here. These are the inlet ports here. So we have, um, yeah, no user, yeah. So it looks like there's an override switch here for some reason. Uh, so I'll just plug the, the wall outlet here into the 230 volts and we should start seeing business. Oh, something's turned on. We can see a light inside there. Okay, so if it's anything like the current fridge, um, I shouldn't have pressed that one. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you got your power on and off button. We have the um, sort of cooling settings of how fast it should cool down. So if you've got a maximum, it's probably gonna draw more power, while Eco will cool up, um, oh, sorry, will cool down the temperature inside. Um, probably slower, but it won't draw as much amps. Uh, the battery protection there, just realized I have a lot of blue stuff on my hands right now. Um, yeah, this one's cleaner. 
Uh, so this one here is a battery protection. So what it will do is if you're running this off a battery, rather than draining it down to zero, maybe damaging your battery, it can automatically sort of turn the fridge off if it gets to a certain voltage. Uh, that looks like a USB port in there. Um, I'd have to see how you operate these here. There's probably some some kind of uh, selection here. Okay, so this one here, you can set to three degrees. So the maximum is probably minus 18. Oh, this one actually goes cooler. So it looks like minus 22 is the lowest you can set it. And then I'm guessing you press set. Try it again. Now it's a matter of, yeah, so minus 22. Oh yeah, okay, so now we've done that one. If you press set again, it will go to the other side. So again, if you want this one here, you can make that fridge side. You can set that to three degrees. So it looks like if you press set, it will flick between them. And I guess if you hold both in, maybe that will go back to normal. Or it looks like, yeah, okay. Yeah. There you go. So right now, it's plugged in. It's set to max. There we go. And there's the, the compressors are kicked in. I can feel air coming out of here. And I can feel sort of air coming out the back there. So you can see it's got these corners here. Now we have power as well. If you open it up, I think a light should turn on. Oh, there we go. We have a light there. Light side. So you've got these like these little um, cables as well. So the door will stay up. So when you open the fridge, you can actually see what you're doing. So it actually sits down nicely. And then all you do is just spring load cable. You just push down like that. And this one might have a light as well. Oh, yeah, it does. It's got a light there as well. So, so that there is the fridge. Um, I'll go have a read of the instruction manual and I'll let you know if there's anything uh, fancy inside that I can't see just off this here. Because like I said, some do have Bluetooth, some don't. I'll go have a look and see if there's anything. So guys, I'll get back to you shortly. So guys, um, I couldn't find any mention of Bluetooth, but this uh, fuse here, it does say 12 volt fuse, so this here will actually go inside the end here. So there's actually a uh, built in fuse here, so I guess if there's any issue, we'll just blow the fuse and you can just switch it out from one of these little glass ones here. Aside from that, uh, it's temperature's already dropping. Uh, the left hand one there, I think that's what I set as a fridge, and that's already gone from 19 degrees when we uh, stopped a second ago to 15. It is a small compartment, so it's probably going to cool down quicker. But one of the right is one I set as like I think is negative 22. So that one there um, is slowly dropping as well. I mean, it's dropped a degree. It might take slightly longer, especially one of my left here is going pretty fast now. Um, so yeah, we'll leave this keep cooling down. And on our next um, little visit, we'll take the old fridge out of the car, bring it in, compare the sizes and just how they look in the build quality and then we'll put some in the car and look at the finished product. So guys, we'll be back soon. Bye bye. Yoink. Well, I go guys. So we're back again and I've taken the old fridge out of the car. So that's the Adventure King's 45 liter yeah. fridge. If you remember guys, I will put the unboxing of this fridge uh, on the top of the video here. Yeah, so. I, I did like this fridge. The only reason I'm upgrading is just pretty much the size and also the dual zone capability of it. So again, you can remove the lid. Um, it does have like a thick lid there, thick walls. It's got a basket, drainage plug. Um, and it, also I bought the, the, cover. the cover, so it just keeps it a bit cooler in summer. So the oxy is upgrading. So again, you can, this is like the temperature controls on the side here. So you've got your ACE or your DC port. You got the AC for so 240 volts and that's a USB port. So it's very similar in regards to the controls. You've got the battery monitor, the temperature up and down, and the uh, compressor speed or how fast it wants to cool down, which is similar to the one that we, over here. You've got the temperature up and down here. You've got the um, compressor speed, the battery, and then on and off button. So just to compare sort of side by side quickly, if we compare the inside baskets. So that's kind of your space here. You've got your main basket, then a little um, place there where the compression sits. So if you compare, compare the two here, and I'll take the basket here to compare. So this is sort of like the main part of this one. 
So it's kind of similar, I mean it's different orientation, so you could say that, yeah, the main part of this one here probably sits in here, and probably I guess the side, yeah, you could probably say that this is the same on the right, but with the new fridge you've got the extra space over here, so again you can make this for fridge or a freezer, so you could load this up with cans, I mean it's also good to have a second basket there as well, but um, yeah, don't know how I'm going to quite do it yet, I might put one, all the drinks in one side, and then maybe make this a freezer so you can put you know, your shopping and stuff in there or keep stuff for longer, but we'll work it out as we go. And once we actually do hit the road, we'll probably make all this a freezer to complement what we've got in the caravan, just because we'll probably store a lot more frozen stuff when we do cool stuff. So I'll go put this in the car and then uh, we'll see what it looks like as a finished product. Uh, the, the, I guess the size, I'll carry this over and you can look at the size comparison. It's not all that different, I did um, measure the two units up and if I was to have this sort of maybe side by side like this, so it's not that much taller, it's only slightly taller, it's only slightly wider, I think the difference is sort of a height is um, where it's sort of different, so you can kind of see the two differences there. So guys, I'll be back with you shortly, I'll go put this in the car, um, turn it on and yeah, we'll see what finished product is. So, bye bye. Yep. So guys, this is the current setup here. That there is the inverter, there's a lithium battery inside there. That there's the battery monitor to tell me how much battery life is left inside that box. That's the solar charge controller, which is hooked up to the two solar panels on the roof. Oh, that's a remote anyway, the solar charge controller is behind there. There's a DC to DC charge behind here, and then this here is a fridge. So you can see here, it currently sits on the fridge slide there. It's anchored there. And you've kind of got that, that much clearance on top there. So this is the current fridge, currently sitting at five degrees. I probably need to replace the battery on that. Hi right, guys, just an update. So after we've done my unboxing, now I'm gonna show you what it looks like actually inside the car. So I've pretty much uh, put a bracket down the bottom here. I'll put in some uh, heavier duty um, straps here because we actually broke one while we were driving or going forward driving um, So because the fridge is a lot longer and a lot taller We had some rubbing issues eventually sort of along the side there and also it doesn't kind of fit on just for one slide It kind of overhangs slightly <coughs> But you can see here it does fit in um, So we've got yeah one set to zero degrees on the left one to negative 16 even with this like really cloudy sky up there in the middle of winter. Uh, the solar charge controller is bringing about 2.7 amps and then that's drawing about negative or negative one so you could probably say that it's drawing maybe three to four amps while it's sitting there. So yeah haven't had any issues it's yeah been cold since um, so the way I've set it up is I've got the freezer here um, as the big compartment and then I've got the fridge here on the right oh, sorry on the left so this here is pretty much just drinks and whatnot. So we've got some tool big in there. Um, we've got Sunkist, Mountain Dew. It's kind of sits in there. So yeah, that's really just so we can grab a drink of that when we're out and about. Um, the right side here, I think we still had filled up from when we went to Adblade. Oh, actually no, it was when we went to Melbourne last. So I've got a, a chicken there. I've got uh, Super Dupers and I think there's hot dogs there at the bottom here that Roberto um, advised us to get while we're in Melbourne, even though they sell them here. So all in all, um, yeah, it's going well. So like I said, I just beefed up the stabilization points there because the fridge doesn't like going forward driving. So hopefully this here will keep it in. So again, just slides all the way in. So latches down there. And yeah, that's how it sort of sits in there. Right beside the inverter and battery. So, hey, okay, bye guys. So that's it guys, that's our new Adventure Ridge Freezer dito sa ating unboxing for today's video. Nakita nyo, dual zone portable fridge, 
freezer siya na 75 liter guys so if you haven't yet checked my other unboxing which is our Kingsman or King's Adventure Kings uh, 45 liters lang siya guys so we decide to upgrade our freezer dun sa loob ng car so nakita nyo earlier yung compare ni Jack sa ating King's Adventure fridge and sa ating Adventure Ridge freezer na in-unbox natin earlier nakita nyo din kung paano namin siya nilagay sa likod ng ating sasakyan guys yung dati nating Adventure Kingsman Kingsman tawag ko dun guys so dati nating Kings Adventure uh, Freezer na nakalagay sa uh, back na ating sasakyan and now our recent purchase or recent uh, Adventure Ridge freezer doon sa likod. So, it's a very dual. Nakita nyo kasi maganda siya, guys. Kasi doon sa ating Adventure King. Maganda rin yung Adventure King natin, guys. Pero, mas maganda siya kasi itong isa. Kasi, 75 liter yung pwede nating ilagay sa loob. Not like the other one which is 45 liter lang ang ating pwedeng ilagay guys. Since we are doing a caravan camping guys and we are heading to different state dito sa Australia, we need to have a bigger fridge na ang capacity malaki guys para mas madami tayong mailagay ng mga drinks, mga meats, mga processed meat guys also and other some uh, refreshments. Aba tayo ay nasa road. So, anyway, highway guys, nakita nyo ang ating specification ko ano yung napapaloob dun sa ating new Adventure Ridge na freezer portable for today's video. Nakita nyo, binili namin siya sa Aldi. Aldi is another shopping, grocery, supermarket dito sa Australia. Um, nationwide yun, guys, dito sa Australia. Sa whole Australia, merong Aldi, guys. Aside from Coles, another supermarket here in Australia. And aside from the Woolies or the Woolworths guys. So anyway, highway that's the end of our Adventure Ridge for today's video unboxing guys. I hope you enjoy watching you learned something today plus you had fun for today's video guys thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting my videos a mega love shout out to each wonderful beautiful people of the universe. Thank you from the bottom of my high boat. Tara most please like if you did enjoy my yeah. video for today and be so subscribe if you haven't yet and yeah. don't forget to hit the bell button for you to get notified on yeah. my next video and please comment down below if you like this video yeah. and see you when I see you on my next one. Bye bye guys. Be good. You take care. Be safe. And Ciao la.